G'day there guys, Elfie here. This is just a quick tutorial to show you something that I thought was in Minecraft Edu Launcher, but I, I didn't quite know how to do it. Um, so you'll see I've got the Minecraft Launcher open here. And I've got Start Minecraft Edu, I've got Start Minecraft, and I've actually got a Start Custom Minecraft button here. Now, there are two things I'm going to talk about. One is this Start custom Minecraft and the second is this start Minecraft button. When you get a hold of Minecraft Edu 0.98 and you start Minecraft you, it will actually start you on Minecraft 1.1. 1 .1. Um, now if you're like me and you play the game and you don't want to wait for Minecraft 1.2 to be ported to the Edu mod or for the Edu mod to be ported to Minecraft 1.2 you can actually play Minecraft 1.2 prior to that if you set it up properly. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also show you how to set up a custom Minecraft install. So for me this is um, industrial craft and build craft based on a Minecraft 1.1 jar. So first thing I'm going to show you is where those files are. So if you go to your Minecraft Edu directory which on a Windows machine if I open up Notepad not notepad, what is it, text edit on here. So on a Windows machine, if you go to start, run, and then in that box you type in percent app data percent, that'll get you to a directory and then you go to roaming and then you should have two directories in there one will be minecraft and the other will be minecraft edu your other option is in the launcher you can actually open the minecraft folder so that'll actually open minecraft for you and it'll get you close to it anyway so you'll see we have in my on on Mac it's your home directory, um, library, application support and then Minecraft and Minecraft Edu. So in the launcher there is a folder in there with jar and you can see there are three jar files in here. One is minecraft underscore custom dot jar, minecraft dot jar and minecraft edu dot jar. What you do to get Minecraft 1.2 into this launcher so that when you start Minecraft in the Edu launcher you actually start 1.2 is from your Minecraft directory, so if I go back open my Minecraft directory, in the bin folder after you update to 1.2 um, you need to download the newest launcher for Minecraft, run that standalone, download the new version and then you just copy that file across and paste it into your launcher jar folder and then when you start, when you launch Minecraft it will it will use that jar to 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 launch it because what the Minecraft Edu mod does is every time you launch Minecraft it copies one of these three files over into here depending on which one you want so if you launch Minecraft Edu it copies this Minecraft edu.jar into that directory and that's what you run. If you run standalone Minecraft you copy it copies that one across and if you're running the custom Minecraft you're running you copy that across. So the naming of that Minecraft custom jar is what is important. It needs to be named exactly as it is there. So Minecraft underscore custom dot jar. So once you've got once you've gone through the process of modding your Minecraft file and there are many many guides that can do it a lot better than what I can explain it. Um, it took me quite a while to learn actually but once you've once you've modded your minecraft.jar copy that across into here and rename it minecraft underscore custom dot jar and it will automatically pop up in here and then you can run that. So just to prove to you that it works if I start minecraft and log in you'll see that I am running Minecraft 1.2.3 if I go back to my launcher and I run a custom Minecraft and log in you'll see that I'm actually running Minecraft 1.1 but this has got um, industrial and build craft on it 
and then if I run, go back to my launcher again, Minecraft Edu, and log in, then this is the Edu mod version. So that's just a quick tutorial showing you how to get around um, and use that feature, which, like I say, I, I thought was there, but I couldn't quite work out. It took a while for me to work it out. And big thanks to Joel. Um, or Minecraft teacher for, for pointing it out to me what I was doing wrong and then if you want to wait if you don't want to wait to play Minecraft 1.2 um, you can work your way around that too thanks for watching I hope it was helpful I'll catch you next time